Nigeria recorded its first case of COVID-19 on the 27th of February, 2020. The nation had since taken some steps to curtail the spread of the virus, some of which include the closure of some sectors, including the educational sector. In terms of counting the laws, Super Screen TV spoke with the principal of Igobi College, Yaba, Reverend Femi Fashino, who enumerated some of the effects and consequences of a lengthy lockdown on the educational sector. The effect of the lockdown on the educational sector is enormous if we have to count the cost. Because education is not only about what students learn in the classroom. The way they interact, there is social competence that they, that they, that they acquire. The social competence that they acquire, the other games that they get themselves involved in to be involved with, to be physically fit, all those were missing. So, and it was missing for a long time. I think since I entered school, we've never had four months straight break. So it was a novel experience for all of us. And for schools where online teaching was not so effective, the effect on it on the students would have been enormous because there will be a gap that the schools will now have to contend with. Also, because we could not run our total, we, I, some governments are saying that we should use the first and second time exam as a basis for promotion. That's not just it. Much as we can do that, there is a body of knowledge that is missing. All that the students ought to learn during the third term. It means we have to cope with it, we have to contend with it when school resumes, whenever it will resume for another session. Furthermore, fashion has stated some positive effects on COVID-19 on the sector as it necessitated the spread of the digital or the online form of learning within Nigeria and the world at large. Since the lockdown, of course, uh, the lockdown just paid up what will be because the world was already going digital and experiences of students outside the classroom was becoming the norm. So with the advent of the closure of schools due to COVID-19, online teaching was the necessary way to go. And therefore, for us in Ebubi College, the schools were closed down on the 27th of March. And the following Monday, by the 30th of March, we started our online teaching. And it was effective, very, very effective. We were able to carry all our students along. We monitored them online. We monitored their attendance. They were given assignments, they were given um, notes, and we encourage parents also to assist in monitoring them at home. So for us, it was, an effect, it was effective with us and it was a necessary step to take.